This chicken meat doesn't come from the fowl as we know it. It's been grown from a single cell taken from a live bird. That cell is put into a bioreactor where it's fed nutrients until it's ready for harvesting. It takes two weeks to grow two kilograms of chicken meat. The concept is developed by environmentally conscious food company Eat Just. There's millions and millions of acres of landmass that are taken up by livestock in you know, the US and China. If we can grow all the protein, all the chicken for China or Asia in general in a building the size of this, you know, look what we've done. Taking away that environmental uh, aspect and we're, you know, our footprint is so much smaller. There are restrictions, however. Regulators say the chicken must be bite-sized and must be breaded. Sales of larger fillets haven't been approved. And so far, a private members club is the only restaurant in Singapore with the product on its menu. Well, by early next year, consumers will be able to come here at 1880 to uh, buy a nugget made with lab-grown chicken. Well, now for the taste test. Let's have a look and a taste of what it's like. Well, it certainly looks very much like uh, a, a regular chicken nugget. And now for the taste. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's uh, very tasty. Nearly three quarters of this nugget is made of cultured meat. The rest is made of mung bean protein. The texture is slightly different, but to the untrained eye, it's barely noticeable. Impossible is now almost a, a just an accepted thing in the market. Um, and people will go to restaurants and they'll see an Impossible burger and a you know, Australian beef, you know, Wagyu burger, and, and they will make a decision. And these are not vegetarians making the decision. These are meat eaters who are making the decision. My expectation for the chicken, having tried the product, I, I think it is, it is surprisingly great. Priced at the premium end of the market, a portion of cultured chicken bites will set you back over $17. Eat just hopes that as demand and production increase, costs will be similar to regular farm chicken within five years. The company is looking to add beef and pork mince to its offerings by the end of 2021. But for Singapore, which imports 90% of its food, lab-grown meat could be the answer to boosting local food supply. Melanie Ralph, TRT World, Singapore.